Good evening, everybody. Very special update. Um, midnight special hour of the night. I'm sure that many of you are right now asleep or if you are in Europe, you are waking up. Great joy for me to do this update for you at midnight. And the reason I'm doing this update at midnight, uh, no, you cannot see me behind me, but it started to snow here in Dallas, um, which is absolutely amazing, right outside my window. Midnight, it's snowing, and I'm happy to announce to you just right five minutes ago, I wrote the final word in the fall of Edom. I found it really special that I wrote the word, the end, on the final manuscript. And as I wrote it, I just turn around and I see those beautiful flakes that is coming out. And I'm just thanking the Lord. Robertson been working today 16 hours. It lasts literally. We just had to crash for the night. <laughs> so... I'm looking outside and I know it's not a big deal for a lot of you who watch snow, but I was thinking about the Lord and some of the things that I concluded the book with, that he's going to wash everything clean and there will be a great new reset and restart from the Lord himself. And I really hope that the new book Although it's apocalyptic in nature and scary, we're speaking a lot about demons, about Satan, a lot in this book. Um, but I also hope it will bring you a glimmer of hope. Hope that, hey, Messiah is coming soon. He's coming soon and he's going to truly cleanse the land from the inside out, cleanse the land, it's within the land. So I'm very, very thankful for this, guys, and for uh, prayers. We have basically all day tomorrow, um, we're going to be stuck inside, but tomorrow we're getting it to the printer. So continue to pray. I'm going to be traveling to uh, Las Vegas just a little bit later this week, and getting myself ready for the actual physical launch of the book. Uh, if you have not had a chance to sign up to the Yeshiva, um, go to events.shuvu.tv for slash Yeshiva. I'll put it after this live stream. I'll put it on for you guys so that you guys can uh, tune in online. And of course, if you've not ordered the book, make sure you do order the book. But I do want to say again, what a special moment it is um, to finish the coding of a dia. Wow, what an effort. And I suppose that the thing that was the hardest is to take stuff that is only in Hebrew and not an easy Hebrew. Wow. And translating it to a way that you will be able to understand it. And we were able to do it and do it well. And you'll be able to understand a lot of things that written over 2000 years ago about those days. And they will minister to you. I know they will. They minister to me. Um, but the one thing you do need to do is to make sure that you, um, my goodness, make sure that you read with an open heart. I guess the, the, the hardest thing as an author is when you think you know something, you know a topic even, and you find out you're wrong about something. It's, it's kind of humbling. And that's one of the things that was really humbling to me about the fall of Edom. I'm not saying it to you because, you know, I'm Rabbi Shapira. I'm telling you this as a person who read the Bible and study 
most of my adult life. I mean, you, you cannot imagine how many references and resource, hundreds and hundreds. You think you know something, and then you find out, wow, God is going to show you something completely new and humbling you. And that's what's happening throughout the process. Wow, it's still snowing. So amazing. That was the humbling thing that happened throughout this book. I mean, when I wrote the new Hamas, it was like, boom, I just got it. Understood it. Revelation and wrote it, executed three days. This was a little bit different. Because I knew what I knew already after the new Hamas. But then sitting down and taking something like that. And start to really looking into understanding. Okay, so we know what happened in October 7. We understand it now. Who the heck is the Sarim? Who the heck is Satan? Who the heck is Edom? Is America a dome? You know, starting to ask those type of questions and then starting to look and everything I thought I knew, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think it's uh, Shuvu. I think it's uh, Shani. I think it's events. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry, Shani. My eyes are so tired. <laughs> thank you for putting the link, Shani. Yeah, so... Uh, th th this is a humbling thing to learn something new and God shows something new and um, now this something new is going to come to you in a, sh in a like a bomb this is no I said 20% or, no the book is the book doubled in this size and I, I love that my good friend, Rabbi Hezekiah, he asked me the funniest question the other day. I will not forget it. He asked me, Rabbi Shapiro, you write books so fast. Is, are you using AI to write your books? <laughs> and I laughed when I heard him say that. No, I do not use AI. Here's what I use. Books. Preferably in Hebrew. More books, as many books as I can find. I'll give you a little bit, just a little bit of hint to what it's looked like in my study. There you go. Just in case you want to see a little bit of the magic. Here you go, guys. This is a little bit of what's going on here. It's a war zone. It really is. But uh, it's finished now. And you guys gonna get an amazing, amazing resource to your hand. I'm so overjoyed. I also also, also want to say a big thank you to uh, Doctor Eldat Eldat Kainan. You really been helping me decode some of the Hebrew. Wow, what a job we took upon ourselves! Um, huge service to the Messianic Jewish community. You know how difficult it is to, sell, to translate the Zohar from Aramaic to Hebrew, from Hebrew to English? Not all of it is available in English. Wow. What an effort. And we got it done. So make sure you order the book. And I'm so happy to be with you here at midnight. Wow. Snowing in Texas, my goodness. I am thankful for the Lord for the things that He's going to be doing through this book. Yeah. That's a big, a big job right there. Yeah. Make sure you order it, guys. You are not going to. Hey, Michael, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really feel like a great sense of relief to be able to get it to you guys. It's a relief, believe it. Um, I'm so exhausted since October 7. I've been writing nonstop. But this one, I feel relief. 
because all of a sudden now, you know, we talk so much about the Dome, so much about the Sav, uh, Rome, and this, and that. We're going to have a nice definition of what is what for you. And you're going to have to really think about your journey with Hashem in the days ahead. You will have to think about those things and really take the action, necessary action. Remember, I had to break it to three books. So this is number two out of three. There'll be one more after that. Just cannot fit everything. I think once we hit the, the 200 page mark, uh, people got getting scared. So we're going to keep it right around 200. This way you will not be scared at all. You will read it, not in an afternoon. It will take you some time to read it. But if this is not going to move you, I don't know what will. So, anyways, please consider coming to Vegas. If you cannot come physically, you sign up online. Order the books so we can get them out to you as soon as possible. You can go to avatami.org. Shani will put the website here in a second for you. Uh, so you guys can go and order. Now, if you have not read the new Hamas yet, make sure you read the new Hamas first. It will help you tremendously. And then you are ready to dive into some serious, serious water of understanding Yamim, Jewish eschatology, and how I know it's true, people ask me, this is going to be different. You're going to hear about some rabbis in the book that you probably never read about. And people says to me all of a sudden, why do you trust this rabbi? They rejected Yeshua. You should understand something. Some of the things I'm reading, those people could not know. For example, I'll give an example. They could not know what is a nuclear bomb 1800 years ago, right? No way. Who knew 1800 years ago what is a nuclear bomb? But they spoke about those things. You see, it's led me to believe that although they were blinded, they were blinded in part. To talk about geopolitical things like what's happened in the Middle East now, in conjunction to the Geulah, before Islam. Think about it. It's one thing you say those things after Islam. Before was Islam. It, it's stunning. So, we need to take it seriously. Very, very seriously. Um, I'm taking it seriously for sure. It's not going to be an easy read from a perspective of it's going to shake you, but the shaking that you're going to receive, I pray, will be a good shaking. A shaking that will help you choose. Choose exactly how you're going to relive the rest of your life. Make the right choices, guys, okay? Anyway, this is a special time. I don't do those type of updates. I'm in my study. And I just finished up here. Just the last word. And uh, may this will be a great blessing to everybody in the days ahead. So I wish everybody blessed, blessed evening or morning, wherever you at, get the books, be in the yeshiva next weekend, and yeah, the bundle, the DVDs, the course, it's going to be amazing, um, I'm immediately, I'm getting up in the morning, we have the final finish of the next uh, 24 hours to get it to the, to the printer, Tina, thank you so much, it's really mean a lot, for the kind words. 
and Jasmine, it's 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 so kind. Thank you for your kindness, and uh, thank you for standing with us and and so forth. People need to understand, you don't write books to make money. Books bring a nightmare and a headaches and so forth. You write books if you um believe in something that needs to be broadcast to the world. Thank you, Dana, so much for this. So, yeah, you, you, you write book like this because you have everything to lose. What if what you're saying is wrong, right? No, you, you write those type of books because you really believe in what you're writing about. So I really, really believe. I really believe that we are onto something huge. Even the bombing. I'll give you a little bit of a little bit of a gift because it's stuck stuck with me for the last fifteen minutes. I'm going to give you something to think about. Let me ask you a question. In the new Hamas. Who did I spoke about as being Hamas? Amalek, Edom, Isav. And let me ask you a question. So just get your mind thinking and get excited about the new book. Please help us get it out. We're in a war of information. Help us see social media. Put your shares like. But let me ask you a question real quick, guys. Here you go. Are you ready? Hmm. Thanks, Joshua. I think it's just the lighting. <laughs> but I don't know. The Lord just told me to do the video with the snow behind me. But check this out. Just, what, three, four days ago? Where did they fire the missiles from? Yemen. Who did we fight in now? Yemen. What is the name of the grandson of Edom, of Esau? His name in Hebrew is Taman. His name is Yemen. Do you think that this is a coincidence? No, it's not a coincidence. All the forces are coming together right now, friends. Everything is being lined up for the great showdown. I want you to make the right choice and choose the right, the right God, the right Messiah, and the right side. Even what's happened now in Yemen, prophesied, is the leading us to Gog and Magog, incredible, just incredible passages. So we're going to bring it all to you. But I did want to mention, I'm going to talk a lot about things like rapture and tribulation. Before you say, I disagree with this, I don't like this. Read the entire book. Read all the passages. And then make your own decision. This is the way Judaism viewed the end times. And if you ever wanted to see Jewish lands. And I suppose the hardest part was in the book. Decoding of Adiah. Because I rely on some important, important writings. That never been translated to, to English. And that's where the rabbits in really helped me tremendously and our team just came together to do it so you guys are going to get in your hands like a time capsule a treasure boom going to open up and the more i read the more i see things from the new testament in this thing it's it's just amazing i i i had to stop writing literally had to stop writing um, because it just become overwhelming. But tonight we're really excited about this. Watch out for all the signs. 
So I'm going to talk quite a bit in the book about Matthew 24, connection to rabbinics. You're going to start seeing things in another dimension, so make sure you get it. And if you can't come to Vegas next week, come and be with me. Uh, if not, sign up and register online. We're looking forward to having you with us. Yeah, it's snowing in Texas, you know. That's why I decided to do this video, Michael. Just standing outside the window. It's kind of stopped now. But the Lord was so faithful. As I finished the last word, it was coming, those big flakes. God will have the final say. Remember this. Hashem will have his final say. Do not forget that, guys. Anyway, this is the update. I know it's late for many of you, but I'm so excited to put this book in your hands. Luis Garcia, I hope Beit Shuvu, Vegas are all pumped up. Now we just need this last push, the next 24 hours to get it to the printer. Uh, expect full loss? Great, great. Most important thing is not the house, but the spirit of God to be in the house, and I know it will be in the Betchuvu, Vegas. I'm looking forward to, to being with you guys. It's going to be amazing. Okay, everybody, so that's the update. I we probably will not hear from me for a day or two as i just wrapping everything up, but continue to pray for us uh, in the next 24 hours. And uh, we get it done. Bezrat Hashem, in the middle of all of those things, a pipe bursted in the attic. You see how the enemy works. A pipe burst in the attic and no room got flooded a week ago. So tomorrow we have to replace all the carpeting. It's going to be 20 degrees here. We got to get it done. It's adversities that make us stronger. So we're overcomers and you will be overcoming everything in those days ahead of us because if you think it's hard now we have no idea what is coming before us maybe this book will give you some idea and some hope and some encouragement a lot of it but also some steps that you have to take right now, right away, in those days. Okay, guys, so anyway, huge night for us here at Avatami. Guys actually working throughout the night, all through the night. Jackson, for that it's morning in Israel. Everybody's working around the clock just to get this done in excellence and perfection. So... I can't wait. We'll start shipping the books as early as Friday. Get your order in. Okay, guys? But uh, please be patient with us as we uh, continue to move. And of course, I'll see many of you in uh, Vegas. Looking forward, forward to this. Thank you, everybody. And uh, have a blessed and hopefully warm evening. <laughs>